Hello there. Today I'm working on a little demonstration painting of a brown hare in the field just over there. And I've started a sketch and I'm going to work on it and show you how I build up the painting stage by stage. So join me and I'll show you what I'm doing. Hairs are just fantastic to draw. They've got so much character and amazing uh, charismatic eyes as well. I'm lucky to see quite a few around here and I can spot them with my telescope and watch them and sketch them from my van. And I often draw on this, um, this kind of sandy coloured paper which gives the immediately soft brown tones that I'm wanting to look for in a painting of the hair. And the first thing I do is put in the really brown colours, it's the really brightest part of the, the fur on the, on the animal. And these become quite gingery spots. But then I work over the top of that with ochre and into the shadows with a really purple colour. But when it hits the, the sandy coloured paper, it turns this beautiful grey. And by modelling around the, the shape of the animal, I can create the form of it. And then the eye is really important to get to. I paint in the, the browns of the, the, the back of the eye and then put in the black. And then after that, I will put in detail here and there using the edge of my brush against the rough paper to pick up a texture and recreate the, the textured feel of the fur. And then it's a case of working into that bit by bit, putting in the shadows and then painting in detail. And it's lovely to be able to work with the models in front of me, so quite often I'll do a painting like this in situ over the course of a day. And I'll use larger brushes to um, sketch out the, the textured paint on the back and then use clean water and a scrubby um, oil brush to lift out areas of soft light and highlights. And that gives a beautiful soft effect, which I can work back into with layers of detail. Some of them dark and then some highlights like this with uh, pure white paint. Then I'm putting in little bits of detail, piece by piece, putting in those huge whiskers that you can see on the animal and the light edging. And that gives a, a final feel of the kind of whiskery hairiness of this, this amazing creature. Uh, in this painting I've set it in a, a beautiful meadow with dandelions beginning to seed and uh, it's kind of captured the character, not just of the hair, but of the place that I found it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the painting and I've enjoyed doing it and I'll see you next time.